pull from Marco Simone, where we're going to have the Ryder Cup this week. Uh, I'm looking at the fifth hole, and I'm using the OnCourse GPS app that we've got. On this hole, this is from the back tee, a 365-yard hole, which will be interesting because there's going to be plenty of potential off the tee, but I think they're going to play this once in a while as a drivable par 4. From here, you can see that from either of these tees, you probably have 310 yards to the middle of the green, and you're going to see the tour players just blasting one up there in particular in, in a match play event. Now, the way I would pick a target with a driver for everybody watching at home, if you're not rock star tour player level ability, if you don't have 60 yards, 50 to 60 yards of width between the tree lines or the penalty areas or out of bounds where you could land the shot, you really shouldn't should think twice about hitting your driver. Doesn't mean you shouldn't, but it is a much harder shot to use as a general rule. For a tour player here, you can see they've got 50, 60 yards from left edge of the green all the way to the tree line cart path, so they're just going to be uh, running and gunning it there. Now, the with the tee back, you've got some other options, and in here, this is where you'll see probably some players lay up, hitting something about 250 off the tee. That'll leave them about 117 in, and tour players from about 120-ish, average 20 feet. 